Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to be going over how to fix a ASUS Matrix HD Platinum, either the 7970 GHz edition or the newer R9280X. Uh, when I say fix, uh, this is going to be a video that goes over how to fix the artifacting, like those little square artifacts that show up occasionally when you're playing games, 3D games, uh, or just in general these weird artifacts that can show up sometimes in games. Uh, my card has been experiencing it and it is an issue with the VRAM. Uh, there are four chips, once I take this cooler off you'll see there are four chips that are not cooled by the Unisync. The rest are. There's 12 chips in total. Uh, so I'm just going to show what's needed. So what you'll need to do is add some uh, VRAM heat sinks. I got these Zellman VGA RAM heat sinks, the ZMRHS1. I'll post this in the description from my local micro center. So I'm going to be using those. Uh, you just need to make sure that there's enough clearance uh, because the copper pipes to remove the cooler. It's pretty easy. You just have to take these four screws off. And they have springs on them so they pop when they're loose enough. So I guess go ahead and take these. And there it automatically comes off. Alright, there's two plugs here that need to be disconnected in order to free the Okay, so once you have those four screws out, you'll see that the problem is a design problem, really. Uh, you can see that there are four, these four Hynix memory modules or VRAM chips that are uncovered. The rest of them, I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, six out of the, what, ten of them? I guess there may be some other ones. I think there's 12 total, but either 10 or 12, there's four of them that are uncovered. So these need to be covered because these Kynix memory chips are rated for, uh, I believe, 1500 megahertz at 1.5 volts. So, if, and the card actually comes factory at 1.6 volts on this RAM, which is overvolted. So that's the reason why they're overheating. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to get these heat sinks can zoom out. Those Hynix chips usually should be able to withstand that temperature, but if they don't, which is the case with my card and there's a bunch of others out there that are reporting this type of problem, uh, if they do not get adequate cooling, they're going to start artifacting. So really all you have to do is you just these come with self-adhesive, and actually the reason why I chose the Zalman brand uh, is for the the reviews that stated that the actual self-adhesive, thermal adhesive that comes with them, is adequate enough, meaning it doesn't uh, fall off after a while, because these will heat up. So you just go about applying those, you just need four. They come in a pack of eight. And once they're applied, the card should be able to handle the stock overvolt of 1.6 volts and not cause artifacts. There are a couple of forum posts on the ROG website where they talk about covering up the these modules and that fixes the issue. So you can see I added those four covers right there. Now the main concern here is if there's enough clearance uh, with the with the copper plate. So I'm going to test that here and see before I reassemble the whole thing.
Okay, so there is clearance problems. You can see right there. So I'll have to either press down on that, and which would probably result in bending them. Well, we'll see. All right, I'm going to put it back together and then we'll test it. All right, so I actually had to bend these down a bit. As you can see there, I used just uh, regular pliers like this, and I just like grabbed onto them and like pulled on them. If you have these exact Zolman heat sinks, VRAM heat sinks, you're going to have to bend the first three rows on one of the sides to get them to to fit. Because the problem is, what I found was that on the cooler, these copper pipes impede. Uh, or you don't have enough clearance basically so you have to bend them you don't have to bend the one over here that's at an angle like that so I went ahead and stick that one on there and I'm going to do the same for these I'm going to clean off the old thermal paste clean off the thermal paste on the copper pipe reapply some more a new thermal paste that I have here uh, and then put it back together put it in the system and then test and see if it works all right, so once you have the thermal paste reapplied and you have it connected together, you can just verify by looking in there that the heat sinks are s secure. And the nice thing about them having very, very low clearance is that they're very unlikely to fall off because those copper heat pipes are kind of just like help holding them there like that. So. That should fix any sort of problems with artifacting. Uh, the card's going to be sitting in the case upside down, obviously, so you want uh, heat sinks that have a good thermal adhesive. So now I should be good to put this back in my system, boot it up, and start testing games. Uh, I would suggest checking your temps on your on your GPU. Make sure that the thermal paste was put properly, that nothing's overheating. Uh, and that should be it. From there, you can test and verify if the artifacts are gone. Hopefully, they are. Uh, I'm pretty sure that this was a, that's a VRAM issue uh, because of the lack of a heatsink on those four memory modules. Hope you guys found this video uh, useful. If you liked it, leave a like button. It really helps a lot. And stay tuned for more technology videos. As always, guys, rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks.